Hello students, today we will be going over 4.8 Solve and Justify Equations. This is page 92 in your yellow packet. Our objective, I can justify steps to solving an equation using the algebraic properties. I can solve multi-step in equations with integer solutions identifying special solutions. Again, we need to justify each step. Here's number one. First thing you do when you're given a, a, an equation to solve, the property is given. That's the very first thing always. Okay, next, we're going to look to see if we need to use the distributive property. And right here, we are. So we draw our little lines over here. We write this exactly as it is. Okay, so this would be distributive property. Okay. Next, we want to combine like terms. This, there's nothing to combine, so we write that the way it is. 12 and 15. 12 minus 15. Okay, that's simplify, also known as substitution. If you put simplify there, that's okay. Now, if I want to get the V's on the same side, I'm going to add 6V here and add 6V here. Okay, that's the addition property of equality. Can add the same number to both sides and it still keeps the equation balanced. So I get negative 3 equals negative 3. Now, when the variable goes away, we look at what's left and we say, is this a true or a false statement? This is true. And if it is true, we say that the solution is infinitely many solutions. Okay. Oh, I forgot one more. The reason for this, after we add it, we come down here and we simplify, also known as substitution. Okay. So that makes a true statement. So we know that the solution is infinitely many solutions. Or sometimes people would put for all real numbers. Back in the day, that was numbers, not hashtags. So I'm going to use numbers right there. So there you go for number one. Now I'm going to go ahead and do number three. Okay. Again, we're given an equation. What's the property of reason? Given. Okay, and again, it looks like we need to use the distributive property. So I can put distributive property. Okay, so negative 5x. 5 times negative 4, negative 20. x minus 5 equals negative 5. Okay. Then we're going to combine like terms. So when we combine like terms, negative 25x minus 5 equals negative 5. And that again, when you simplify, it's substitution. Then we're going to add 5. I forgot my line down. Whatever we do on one side of the equation, we do on the other. So that's the addition property of equality. And when we do that, it's again substitution or simplify, divide by the number in front of x, 
So it's division property of equality. And again, substitution. And x, let me get rid of that, x equals 0. Okay, you can do the rest of this, students. You can do number 2 and the rest on page 93. You can do this, students. You rock.